Hi everyone, Miss Argarden here, and today I'm gonna go through how to make snow falling, like an animation, on an artwork of yours or in a video of yours. So this tutorial is specific to Photoshop. I'm using Photoshop CC, but I think these techniques will pretty much be universal. So if you have any questions with that, you can ask me or you might have to do a little search for your specific program. So in the first part, I showed you how to make the actual snow effect with brush settings. And what I'm going to do for this, for this demonstration, I'm going to take this base without the snow, <laughs> so like this, and I'm going to add a snow layer over it that will move and will animate and then we'll export it either as a GIF or I'll show you how to make it a transparent layer if you wanted to put it over your videos. We'll go through the basics here. So we have this. For the purpose of this, I'm going to make it a little bit smaller because it doesn't need to be printer size since I'm doing animation. So it was 300 DPI. I'm going to change it to 72 DPI and that's just standard size for web. So that's just gone down from the preview, but this is the full size of it here. And then if you try to do your brush setting on this new size, you can see it's uh, much bigger. So you'll have to adjust the brush sizes for that. So the idea is I want to have snow falling. So I'm actually going to make a very long layer of snow. I'll show you right here. This is the same uh, same width as this one if I shrink it down. So this is 12.5%. So if I shrink this down to 12.5%, you can see it's the same width as this, but this is obviously much longer. So I'm going to make this whole snow layer and then I'm going to put it here and I'm going to animate it so it moves slowly over this one like that. And then you can loop it at the end. I'm going to double click my background layer just to get rid of it, put a darker color in the background and make a new layer for the actual snow. And then while I have this brush, I did a little bit special brush in the last episode. While I have it up, I'll throw a few in here and then I'm going to throw the actual round ones in as well. But the same brush technique as we went over through the last tutorial, I'll leave a link up there if you don't know how to do this part. And I'm going to do them real quick here and I'll show it on camera, picking this soft brush and I'm going to my brushes. I'm going to brush tip shapes, putting it at a thousand. I'm going to shape dynamics and I'm putting size jitter at around 60%. I'm going to scatter and I'm going to put that way up too. And and then I am just going to put them in here. And this might actually be a little bit bigger than I want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shrink this down a little bit and then put them in like this. That looks good. So I'm just going to put some snow in here and this randomly place it in. So it looks like that. Okay. We have our snow layer. You can hardly see it if I take away the background, but it's there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit command A, command C, and then go back to that base and I'm going to hit command V. And you can actually see if you hit command T again, and this is transform, that it has pasted this layer, but it's kind of pasted it so the top is down. And I actually want to take it and transform it and move it all the way up like that. I'll go through it in the quick, in the drop down menus real quick. So I went to select all and that was command A and then edit copy was command C. And then when I switched over here, I went to edit paste, which is command V and then command T is under edit and free transform right here, command T. <laughs> Okay, so now that we're all caught up on that and you have it moved, so this is at the bottom, we can move this up, blow this up so it's easier to see. So now what we want to do is open up our timeline, which is right here under window timeline, and it'll bring this up. And this is a way to animate in Photoshop. So let me blow this up all the way. I'm going to hit this create frame animation. It's going to start me off with one frame with a zero second delay. Okay, so we're going to label this snow one, and then we're going to duplicate this layer over here. And a quick way to do that is Command J, but you can also right click on it and then select duplicate layer. And we're going to call this snow two. <laughs> and then I'm going to hit Command T and I'm just going to move this down a little bit like that. All right. And then we'll have to hide this layer when we're doing the actual animation and what a pain in the butt. So let's make this an action. So this will automatically do this for us. So uh, I have my actions open. If you don't, if you can go to window actions, it's right here. And I'm going to select just for the purpose of this, I'll make a new set. There's a manila folder looking icon. I'm going to click that. I'm going to hit snow animation, <laughs> if I can spell it, animation. There we go. And then I'm going to hit this key right here, create new action. I'm going to call it snow falling and I'm going to hit record. Now we're recording everything we do in the program. So I'm going to duplicate this path hit command T, move it down a little bit, and then I'm going to hit return to release that. And then I'm going to hit this little stop recording button here. And before we hit play again, I'm going to take that layer off and then I'm going to go up to snow falling, make sure that's the high, 
the uh, top is where I am, and I'm going to hit the play button. Now it's created a new frame. I'm going to hide that, hit the play button. I'm going to hide that, hit the play button. Hide that, hit the play button. Hide that, and let's see how far we are. You can see we haven't made it very far. So this will just depend on how many layers you want to go. If you want to go through the whole top one, you can do this several more times. Okay, so this is 10 copies, and I haven't actually made it that far. But I want to show you what it will look like in the animation at this stage. So I'm going to uh, go all the way back down to my first snow layer here, and I'm going to hit this button down in our timeline which says duplicate selected frames and it's gone out of out of frame there a bit and then I'm going to make sure these, these are all on 0.1 second delay so for now on it'll be 0.1 second and it won't be so jarring so here is frame one and frame two they're not the they're not different yet but if we select frame two we hide the snow layer one click the snow layer 2 on and now you can see there's a falling difference. Now for a very simple animation you could set this to loop forever and just have it snowing like that and that's a pretty easy quick way to do it. If you wanted it to go down more you're just gonna have to hit duplicate layer and then start moving up these layers that we've created. So hide this one, open this one, hide this one, open this one, duplicate the frame, hide this one, open this one, duplicate the frame, hide this one, open this one, duplicate the frame, and then we should be about here. And we will have this slow falling look. So it actually looks like it's falling when you do it this way. And you could loop it here. I think people's eyes wouldn't be too tricked or you can go through the entire <laughs> layer. Okay, so now we have this done. Let's blow it up so we look <laughs> look at it a little bit bigger. And we have it and it looks like it's actually falling. They've all reached terminal velocity and they're coming down at the same time. And uh, it looks pretty good, I think, for snow. So now what we need to know is how to make this an actual GIF. If you haven't downsized your document yet and you have a very very large one this is going to be a, a big job for your computer so I would suggest doing a save as and downsizing it if you want to make it a gif. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit pause there I'll go back to this one and let's look and see how to make it a gif. So if you have an old Photoshop you might have to go to um, export I don't know if it's actually an export but there's a save for web section and you can see it's legacy for me and you open this up it'll pop this window up and um, you can you know save it here <laughs> and it might take a while so now I have it saved as a file you can see it just here at the very bottom and then if I drag this into a browser it would show it as a little animation and you could post this um, supposedly I think you can just post this as a normal gif unless there's something I don't know different about windows but so that's option one or you can go to file export and then down here it says render video click on that it'll take a minute for it to pop up give it a second and if yours takes too long you might have to just downsize your document okay so um, this is just basically where you're going to render it to so select folder mine's Apparently just gonna go to my desktop and this should all be about the same so then you'll just hit render and you'll get your video and you can see it's exporting the video now now one more thing I want to go through if you're doing this on a video and you don't want the background you just want the snow layer you'll have to go through and take these out of every one of this every one of your little frames it might be very difficult to see but the snow is still falling in the animation we just don't have that background so now when you go to file export render video, I'm going to change my name to transparent snow for this. And I'm going to make sure that this is on straight unmatted, which means that it will be transparent. And I'm going to go ahead and render this one too. And I will show you both these in my editing program. So let's jump over to that. Okay, so now I'm in my video editing program and I just use DaVinci Resolve because it's free. <laughs> so, okay, and I've put the transparent snow layer that we just saved from Photoshop here and an old speed paint to show you that you can put these over videos. So I'll put the speed paint in first. I'll mute, mute the audio so it doesn't <laughs> drive us nuts. I'm going to put the transparent thing in here and since we didn't do it all the way through, it's going to be a very small very short section of time. So I'm gonna, I don't know why it uh, does that extra audio there. I'm just going to delete it there. I'm going to take this. I'm going to paste it a bunch throughout the whole video. And then you can see when you play the video, your transparent snow will fall over it and you can make your videos all very festive. I'll turn this to full size so you can see as the speed paint goes, all the snow is falling. So 
that is that. Now <laughs> you have a couple different ways of showing animating snow falling. I'm going to escape out of here and pause that there. So anyways, those are two ways to animate snow in videos or in GIFs. So you can either make it into a movie or a GIF and you can all fight me in the comment section <laughs> on how you say GIF. Anyways, I uh, hope that you found this tutorial useful. If you have any suggestions, leave them in the comment sections below. Take care, have a wonderful day, and I will see you in the next video.